If you want to create your own custom editor with a button like so, that references a certain function of a different script, the easiest way is to just start with an empty project and create a new c -sharp script. In this example, we'll be printing a random integer, so I'll call this print random integer. So the next thing I'm going to do is, for the sake of configuration and some certain details, I want to create a new folder that's called editor, and in there I'll create a new c -sharp script name the same thing with editor at the end of the name. Print random integer editor. I'll go ahead and open this script. And I'll go ahead and open print random integer as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually de delete these standard mono behavior functions. And I'll create a public function called print random integer and I'll write function at the end. What I'm gonna do here is just write in print random.range between 0 and 100. That's all I have to do for this script really for now. And so I'm gonna go to our print random integer editor. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add a using here that says uh, using unity editor. I'll remove this model behavior reference here and I'll change it to editor. And now we inherit from the editor. I also don't need these model behavior functions. So I'll create a new override function here that will basically override the functionality of the default inspector. So that's public override void on inspector GUI. Okay. Um, and in here, I'll first write draw default inspector. And so what that's going to do is basically draw what the default inspector would draw if we're taking a look at our target script. And to denote that we have a target script, what I'll write at the top here is custom editor, and then it'll add these parentheses, I'll write type of, and I will say print random integer. That again will denote that we're targeting a print random integer script here. So for each print random integer script, we're gonna go ahead and add, like, you know, add on to that default inspector functionality. So after drawing the default, why don't we go ahead and draw what we're actually looking for, which is a button. And to do that, I'm going to first store a reference to our print random integer target. So print random integer my script equals, and I'm casting here, print random integer target. So the target is this inspector target. You can hover over it, it'll say the object being inspected. And basically what that means is just the current script that we're looking at for this custom editor, which it's a little bit unclear not here now, but basically that just means we want to draw a button for this specific target, uh, which is going to be any print random integer script. Okay, so next is I'm just gonna write if GUI layout dot button, and in here I'll put a string here. Uh, and actually before I go ahead and write that, what I'm gonna say is this function is doing two things, right? If GUI layout dot button, what it's doing is going it's going to return a Boolean that means whether or not the button has been pressed. So if we pressed it, then it will do whatever you know is inside of this if conditional. The other thing it's doing here is when I pass it a string, so if I say print random integer, that means that you're going to see this on top of the button. So that's just what the button will say. It will return a Boolean whether it's being pressed or not. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and call the function on our script here. So we'll say my script dot print random integer function. Okay, and so that's everything we need to do and I'll just go ahead and quickly show you how that it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new empty game object here and I'll drag on this print random integer and you'll notice there's this print random integer button over here on the side and each time I press it is a new random integer 86 76. Okay so if you wanted to do something interesting with this so really quickly what I'll do is create a UI text and I'll push it to the center and I'll make it a bit bigger make the text white just for the sake of looking at it. So what we're gonna do here is just throw on the random integer onto the UI text, right? So I'll create a public reference to it here. And instead of printing this, what I'll do is set the UI text dot text equal to random dot range zero one hundred. Oh text getting used to this keyboard. And we'll just go ahead and say two string. So um, now we're gonna add a random number to whatever UI text we reference. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on our game object and I'll drag this text over here. And so now whenever I press print random integer, this text will instead set to something else. So it's 53 now. In theory, it should be updating each time I press it, but there's some unity, there's some funky behavior with unity that's making it so I have to click on the text to make it update. So every time I press that editor script and then click on the text, it will show that change. So that's one way of doing it. And, and if you were running the game, then that would automatically update. So uh, that is actually going to be it for this one. Make sure to leave a like if it helps you out and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Let me know what you think about the shorter format and longer formats. And if you want to get a book on creating your first game, go ahead and click that 
i in the top right or check out the description below and i will see you in the next one have an awesome day